Hello, my people. Welcome back to my channel. Marco here for another BI reaction, and welcome to my third and final reaction to his brand new album, To Die For. We begin with Cloud Thoughts. If you haven't seen my previous reactions to BI, please check out part one and two of my To Die For album reaction. And of course, you can find all these reactions in the BI playlist. But now we begin with Cloud Thoughts. So let's get into this. BI, baby. Okay. Okay. Is he referring to, is he referring, how do you feel when you see small dots? Is he referring to like the stars when you see stars in your eyes? Is that what he's referring to? All right. What kind of heart will it flow? To what name should we call each other? Swimming fiercely in the sky when I look at the small dots. Oh, okay. Is he, oh, okay. Wait, small dots. Okay. Uh, that I buy, how would it feel? I guess he's talking about the stars. He's talking about the stars, the small dots, the star. Well, yeah, I did say stars in, in your eyes, but I meant like, you know, when you rub your eyes and then you see all those those stars that are like popping in and out all over the place. Uh, but I guess he actually means the stars that are in space, in the sky. <laughs> Why am I following my dream? Why do I want to make money? What does that mean? I don't know yet. I'm living for now. Oh, I completely relate. I completely relate. Why am I following my dream? Why do I want to make money? 
what does that mean? Oh, wait, sorry. What does that mean? And then he says, I don't know yet. I'm living for now. Yeah, day by day. That's exactly how I take things. You know, once upon a time, I was really big on when I grow up, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to become. And this is how things are going to be. As I, you know, and I hate to say as I got older, because it's not even about getting older, but just the longer I've lived and the more experiences I've lived through, I've completely changed my whole opinion on that. My my outlook on life has changed. To me, we put so much emphasis on destiny. Destiny, what you are meant to do, what you are meant to be on this earth during your time in this world. And it's like, who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Like, I'm living day by day. I could be gone tomorrow. I could be gone tonight. You know, all that hard work for what in the end? When nothing is even guaranteed anyways? I live day by day. And I just, you know, I make it up as I go. I make it up as I go. Two years ago, three years ago, if you were to ask me, what what about YouTube? Would you want to do YouTube? Because I've been asked many times. I said no. I've been saying no. And now I do YouTube. My mind changed. My course shifted a little bit. So I always tell people that I meet um, when it comes to like work and professions and all that kind of stuff. It's like, don't marry yourself to any one given thing because it's going to change throughout your entire life all the different phases and stages of your life it's going to change it's going to change the things that you loved and that you were so preoccupied doing the most important things in your life when you were 11 years old are not the same when you're 22 years old are not the same when you're 33 years old are not the same when you're 47 years old and so on and so forth Are there things that you take with you that are a part of you and will forever be a part of you as a part of who you are, your personality? Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of movies and music, artists, TV shows, actors that I absolutely loved as a kid that I still love, still exactly love just as much as an adult, right? There are some things that you take with you. It's part of your makeup. It's part of what makes you you. But when it comes to this all-encompassing What is my destiny? What am I meant for in this world? And blah, 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 blah. blah. Fucking cares. Who fuck? We put so much pressure on ourselves and we end up killing ourselves for it or other people kill us for it because we don't meet their standards. They keep pushing us and pushing us and pushing us, right? And it's like, oh my God, all the depression, all of the, all the shit that just goes into our heads and just eats us up from the inside out. And it's like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I've given up a lot in my life. And the stuff that I've given up that I thought was for me, that I thought was going to propel me and give me so much fulfillment, I feel so much better now that I've given them up. You know, I used to carry a piano on my back, walking up, trudging up this huge, never-ending hill. And at some point, I thought, why don't I just stop? Why don't I just maybe go in a different direction and said, why am I going up this straight line that seems to be going on and on and on and on forever? Give my back, my shoulders, my legs some rest. So I threw the piano off, made a pit stop, and then decided to go in a completely different direction. And I'm happier now because of it. If this is what he's talking about, and I assume it is in so many words, then I totally relate. If he actually decides, if BI decides to retire tomorrow, which of course none of us want, right? But if you were to retire tomorrow and did something else, became a chef, worked in the metro train system that they have in Korea. I don't know. I don't think anything that you could think of became a teacher. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But he was okay with doing that. You know, at the end of the day, he's the one that feels more the most fulfilled by it. You know, it would be sad for us because of everything he shares with us. But for him as an individual, right, his life changes, his mind changes, his direction changes. At the end of the day, as upset as we would be, it's okay for him to do that.
People do it for a variety of reasons, hate and distinguished each other. Unnecessary consumption of emotion. I'm tired every day without knowing why. Yeah. What kind of heart would flow to? What name should we call each other? Boruka. Swimming fiercely in the sky when I look at the small dots. This has a bit, um, a bit of a tropical feel to it. This song. Actually, I thought it would be something. I want it to be special. But when I find myself different from what I want, it's getting so small. In this pale blue dot, I'm struggling to get through it. I hope these people are not in vain. People do it for a variety of reasons. Super cute, super catchy, totally relate to the lyrics. It has a bit of that um, poppy nursery rhyme flow to it, the same as Dare to Love does. So I really love that. That's that, that's definitely one of his signature type of sounds when it comes to like pop music like that, right? Oh, this is so good. Love, 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 loved Cloud Thought. All right, we're almost done the album, guys. We have now hit Truth, the second to last song on this album, Truth. I liked what I heard when I reacted to the teaser of this, so I don't know. Here we go. Give us your truth, B. I mean, that's all he's given us is his truth. <laughs> Here we go, truth, B.I. Truth.
Why? 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 No sacrifices are placed. We're close to eternity. The reading is complete truth and endless sweet secret. Show salvation. Soul, smile for me. Hundreds, millions of stars singing. I will spring your ear. That's the answer to the question of my life. Can you show me heaven in my truth? This was so short, but that was his truth. Wow. This is, um, the production is beautiful. Beautiful. I can hear it. I can see it in a movie. I do wish it was longer, but I mean, that's kind of what makes it special is that it's much shorter and does what it does. He does mention a lot about death on this album. Well, I mean, the album is called To Die For, right? But talking about death, being on the edge of death, even willing to die for the sake of love, and even here, you know, I think that's the answer to the question of my life. Will you show me heaven? My truth. You know, it's... He's... Some of these songs are really chipper and happy, Feel good, uh, but I want to say I hope he's okay. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I hope he's okay. All right, we've now reached the final track on this album, Michelangelo. Hey, <laughs> let's get into this, Michelangelo, baby. <laughs> Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 
like a Michelangelo. Hong Chica punch like a yellow. Hong Chica vision a chedo. Send a good chuck a wego. Most of you got the congedo. Boss on a young as incredo. Trying a pure on a tedo. I'm going to one other level. I'm living in one good machine. The child don't treat here. Who should be in? He's in a chicky be easy. I'm about the jeep. I'm about the feedback. One turn on daily. The week ain't no more reason. And you can ease in. Pocket watch on to the lead. Here hand down. So you don't show a KB. The Jibra and the Gamsa and the Gunk in the Renaissance. The young Gamma Nan and the Sumshin and the Nori Nan. Yes. Puishi and the Kunner and the Yolato. Toro Jodo Yosai and the Ma. Machina Tan is a boy. Okay, so if there's one thing I love, it's that I love when artists just completely and utterly own, own who they fucking are. Because I can sit on my ass and give him all the fucking praise, which I have been doing in all my videos, all my videos for BI. And it's like, at some point, bro, you got to you got to just fucking just flat out tell me what you think of yourself, your artistry, your talent, your reputation. You just got to own own who the fuck you are. I am the reincarnation of Michelangelo. Straight up. Straight up. This is who I am. Yeah. Oh, it's funny how some people say Michelangelo. He says Michelangelo. I say Michelangelo. I guess it's just different. I mean, it's the same name, but I, 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 I totally get it. I'm thinking of Ninja Turtles. Michelangelo. Yes. Splinter. Well, I, mean, I think sometimes it depends on the iteration. Sometimes he says Michelangelo. Sometimes he says Michelangelo. Um, I know, obviously, he doesn't mean Michelangelo the Ninja Turtle. Duh. But I'm just referencing how it's said. <laughs> Michelangelo in the brain, my iris is shining yellow. Yellow. A brilliant saturation of vision. 
모순이 가득한 죄도 벗어날 정해진 궤도 저항을 표하는 태도 I'm going to one of the level I'm living in 황금의 시대 I'm living in the golden age Narcissistic flight through space huh. yeah. Life is 70 years old I'm not taking it I'm not controlled Feedback ye? <laughs> For the full truth reset my ideology the air that surrounds me is renaissance. My inspiration is a child who breathes inside me. Yes, yes, yes. That got me right away. That got me right away. My inspiration is a child who breathes inside of me. There are parts of his life, pieces of his life, and I think we are all like this, as I was mentioning earlier, that we take with us from childhood, from growing up. And childhood, you know, as a baby, as an infant, as a youth, growing up, as a child, as a toddler, you know, the different phases and stages of your life before becoming a teenager, and then becoming a teenager. All of this happening before becoming an adult. It is the most impressionable because it all comes first. It all comes first in our life. Nothing comes before that. Not a damn fucking thing comes before that. It all comes first. First, those are the roots of what we sprout from, right? So uh, my inspiration is a child who breathes inside me. He still carries that with him. He still carries, and he's been able to mold himself into a renaissance, into a Michelangelo. Huh? You can top the invisible flow. Even if I fall, I'll go down in history. Like Newton's apple. Superior genes. God's ambitious work. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a reincarnation of Michelangelo. Fucking insane. Timelessness. Nah, nah, nah. Excellence in everything. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a reincarnation of Michelangelo. Is he, I mean, I can't even say is he insane because he's not. He's not, I am not going to sit here, read these lyrics, listen to the song and say, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Show me, show me this renaissance that you speak of. Show me this Michael, show me this work of art that you proclaim that you are. I've seen it. I've heard it. If you know B.I., you've seen it too. You've heard it too. Not a lie. Not a lie is spat in this song. Spat in this song. Superior genes? Nah, nah, nah. God's ambitious work? Nah, nah, nah. I'm a reincarnation of the way of the future you're a fool you're a fool wherever you go the law that the upper limbs are rotten remains unchanged the more disgusting everyone's expression is i feel a strange pleasure yeah i totally get this i totally get this how people kind of look down on you talk all this mad shit about you but it's like you get a strange pleasure from it because it almost it reaffirms how you are not like them you are not a part of that group that crowd, whoever they may be, whatever they might do, right? You're not a part, you're not a part of them. You don't sit at their table. They don't want you at their table. But by them doing that to you, it reconfirms that I am different. I don't belong with you. I am not a part of your little crowd because I know I'm better. Everything about me is fucking better. Oh, 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 yes! Whether I did my best or had strong personality, I'm right and you're wrong. Yeah, the struggle is inevitable. My belief is bigger. Oh, the way he says that is like, um,. Oh, what song? What song? What song? It's taking me back to a song. In Flame. He has that little rap portion. I mean, the whole song is rap. But um, 
he, you know what you know what part I'm talking about? It's that part of the song when he's like, I got the juice, make it proof, represent youth, clear view. <laughs> That's exactly how he's rapping this part. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. Oh yes, yes, yes. My belief is bigger than your motherfucking doubt. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. Then your motherfucking doubt. I'm a reincarnation of Michelangelo. Build a new world, set a new standard. This is the crystal <laughs> He just had to get that out there, and I, I, I agree with him. I agree with him. I agree with him. <laughs> so, I'll tell you right off the bat if I had to rank these songs. Michelangelo or Michelangelo is number one. This is number one, baby. This is number one. This is number one. And I would say Dare to Love is number two. Die for Love is number three. The Island of Misfit Toys is number four. Cloud Thought is number five. Oh. Wave. Wave is number six. Seven would be Truth. Beautiful Life would be eight and then to die would be number nine guys what say you you know what's interesting on spotify is they actually if you go on spotify if you have it maybe it's the same for apple music or whatever um music streaming that you use but i know on spotify uh his album to die for is now actually merged with cosmos so you can choose Cosmos as a separate album, but also when you go to To Die For, the Cosmos songs are on the same album, To Die For, as well, at the very end. So I, I'm, I'm glad, 15 songs in total, To Die For and Cosmos. So I'm glad that they did that. Really cool. This has been an adventure, and it's an adventure that I hope we can take with him for many, many, many more years to come. Um, I hate to bring it up. I really do. It's coming to my mind right now. Only because eventually it's going to happen, right? Has, did he already complete his military enlistment? Do we know? I, maybe he, I don't think he has. I don't think he has. There's going to come a time where he's going to have to take that year and a half or two year break, right? Oh my God, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. Maybe he's already complete. I don't know. I don't know. You guys would know. You guys tell me, let me know. After this, of course, we have Love or Loved Part 2 which is going to be crazy. And that's coming out next year, right? So here's the thing about Lover Loved Part 2, LOL, Part 2. So we have Part 1, which of course has BTBT and Keep Me Up and Endless Summer and Tangerine and all that. So we have that. But when Part 2 comes out, is that supposed to go together like Cosmos and To Die For? So does LOL become one album or does it still is it still considered two separate EPs, two separate mini albums, because it's part one and part two. How do we go about that? Guys, this has been so great. Thank you so much for spending all this time with me as I check out some more BI. Mm, any day, any place, baby. <laughs> Until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll speak again real soon. Take care, guys. <laughs>